Hello everyone, right in this video, I just would like to share to you guys about how to write research objectives and research questions. Please note, this is only the example for the studies, the correlational study, regressions, bad analysis, and structure regression model. So, let's find out. First, study with correlational design. All right. So, the first one for the research question is independent variable correlated with or associated with or related to dependent variable. So, it's just only synonym. You can use either correlated with, associated with, or related to with dependent variable. Okay. And the way how to write the research objective is to identify, to examine, to determine if whether independent variable are correlated with or associated with or related to dependent variable you can choose one okay so that's the first one the second one does independent variable have significant correlation with dependent variable so you can choose only one dependent variable or two independent variables it's all up to you depends on the design and the way how to write the research objective is to identify, examine, determine if or whether independent variable have significant correlations with dependent variable. All right? So that's number two. Number three here, what are the strengths and magnitudes of the correlations or relationships between independent variables and dependent variable? And to write the research objective is to determine the strengths and magnitudes of the correlations or relationships between independent variables and dependent variables. And the fourth one, what are factors? And the synonym of factors, you can use antecedents or determinants. And for the related to, you can use related to, correlated with, associated with, dependent variable. Okay. And for the research objective, it's going to be the same to identify, examine, determine the factors, antecedents, determinants, related to, correlated with, or associated with dependent variables. And the last one, what are factors influencing dependent variable? And the objective is to identify, examine, determine the factors influencing dependent variable. I make it the yellow color in there so you can see what's the meaning later uh, in the next slide, okay? So just leave it that way for the yellow color. And another one, a study with predictive design with regression only at this point but actually the way we write the predictions we can use it as a path analysis or structure equation model as well but here i try to differentiate between the predictive design with the um, regression only without the mediating or moderating variables okay so the research question first one can independent can independent variables predict dependent variable and the research objective is to examine, determine if, whether, dependent variables predict dependent variable. And the second one, what is the predictive power of independent variables on dependent variable? To examine, determine the predictive power of dependent variables on dependent variables. And the third one, what are predicting factors? Or what are predictors of dependent variables? So it's similar, okay? And the objective is to examine, determine the predicting factors or the predictors of dependent variable. And what are factors predicting dependent variable? So it's quite similar, just only how we paraphrase it, okay? To examine, determine the factors predicting dependent variable. And the last one, what are factors influencing dependent variable? And the objective is to examine, determine the factors influencing dependent variable. So you can notice here, even in the correlations or in the regressions, the word influencing can be used in both, even correlation or predictions, because the influencing can have two meanings, or using affect things, the effect, but most likely we use influence. And a study with path analysis or structure equation model, so this is only for the general, okay, general objectives here, but if you want to write more a specific objectives you can write more but this is only for one general objective or one general questions so the first one how does a model a structure model or a path model 
or hypothesized model or a predicted model, a causal model explain dependent variable, right? So it depends on your research design here, even a structure model or a plot model or a hypothesized model or even a predictive model or a causal model. So it, it depends on your design, right? And the research object objectives here, if you want to test the model, of course, you say to test a model, structure model, a plot model, a hypothesized model, a predictive model, or causal model in target conditions. Or if you develop the model first, right? And then after that, you test it after that. So you, you say to develop and test a model or a structure model, a path model, predictive model, causal model, and target populations, okay? And the second questions that you can write it on, how does a model, a structure model, or a path model, or a hypothesis model, a predicted model, a causal model, affect the dependent variable? So the word affect there, right? And to examine how a model or a structure model until a causal model affect the variable, okay? So just only the synonym you can use. Depends on your design again. And the third one, how does a model, a structure model, or causal model fit with the empirical data, right? And the objective is to examine if the model fits with the empirical data, okay? And the fourth one, how are causal relationships between independent variables and dependent variables? And the objective is to test or to examine causal relationship between IVs, independent variables, and dependent variables. Uh, most likely, uh, in the in part analysis or SEM, we do not call it independent variables or dependent variables, but we call it as uh, exogenous variable and endogenous variables, right? So you can just differentiate, but basically they are the same. And how do the factors in the model affect influence dependent variable? You can see the terms influence in there. So in the terms influence can be used in part analysis or SEM. Because if you're looking at the my video previously, that part analysis is multiple, multiple regression. So the extended version of the regression. So we can use the term influence here. So how do the factor in the model influence dependent variable, right? And to analyze the factors in the model and how they affect dependent variable, or to examine how independent variables influence or affect dependent variable, right? And the last one that we uh, likely to use for writing research question is what are the magnitudes of direct and indirect effects of the variables in the model on dependent variable? So the objective is to, uh, to determine, examine magnitudes of direct and indirect effects on dependent variables. All right, so that's all the research question and research objectives that you can use. So I do hope it will be useful for you and good luck for your studies and thank you guys for watching.